All right, here we go. Question number seven from our college algebra, homework number one in my lab math. It says graph the function f of x equals negative three minus the absolute value of x. And apparently they want me to graph this using a table of values. So they've given me some numbers for x. I'm going to have to plug those in in order to get these y values, okay? So that's one of the main things you need to understand is that f of x means y. So we're going to be creating ordered pairs. Over here, the first number we want to look at is f of negative 2. And so if you th look at what this is asking, this is saying, hey, what is y when x is negative 2? That is exactly what this is asking. And so we're going to figure that out by doing substitution. We're going to replace the x with negative 2. We know that the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. And then we can say negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. And that'll be our first y coordinate, negative 5. And then we're going to rinse and repeat, OK? Next, f of negative 1 is negative 3 minus the absolute value of negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 is our next number. And rinse and repeat. Okay, so next, f of 0 is going to be negative 3 minus the absolute value of 0, LOL, there. However, the absolute value of 0 is 0, and so that's going to just produce negative 3. Negative 3 minus nothing is negative 3. 1, f of 1. That's going to be negative 3 minus the absolute value of 1, which is going to be negative 3 minus 1, because the absolute value of 1 is 1. And that's going to be negative 4. And did you notice we're starting to see symmetry? Yes, the y's are starting to repeat. And so my prediction here is negative 5. Uh, yeah, I didn't even get to show the work. I hit the equal sign too soon. But if we plug that in and show you, f of 2 is negative 3 minus the absolute value of 2 which is negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5, and that completes our table. Now we're going to get to graph. So if we click on the graph, it brings up a toolbar, and we want the absolute value tool. Okay, so what does it want me to do first? Notice down here it says click the graph to plot the vertex. And the vertex is going to be the center point, which is this 0, negative 3, right there. That is the vertex. And then it says click the graph to plot another point. So we know if we go over 1, we should be down at negative 4. Did you see from right here? If x is 1, y is negative 4. If x is 1, negative 4. And then you can go through and check each one of these if you want. So if x is 0, we're at negative 3. If x is negative 1, we're at negative 4. Okay, negative 2, negative 5. Negative 2 lines up with negative 5. So we can see that this table of values is verified with our graph. And so we feel pretty good about that, okay? So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.